Yeah, delighted to get it done. Um, took a while to, to get it sorted, but no, uh, delighted to get it over the line. Um, I've loved every minute of being at this club. I think 17 years ago, pretty much, I came down here. Um, obviously, very proud to be from Leeds and play for my home club, but this this is home for me. This has been home for, for a long time. Um, from the day I walked in, I've loved being a Harlequin. Um, and to get to do it for another year uh, makes it really special. I think the environment's the best it's ever been. I, I really do. Um, and the club's in a great spot. Great coaches, great players. The youth coming through is incredible. As long as I'm, I can help the team. If I'm not a hindrance, then I want to keep, I keep playing. And if I can help the boys to, to lift another trophy, then I'll do anything I can to try and help that. Absolutely love the fact that we've got the fans back and the stoops absolutely bouncing week in, week out. Um, I don't understand how much that means to me personally, but to the team. Um, and we're just trying to have fun, that's the key word, enjoyment. So for a, for a 35-year-old spring chicken, that's a nice word to hear every day. Uh, just coming in and having fun and, and expressing ourselves on the pitch uh, and hopefully causing a bit of chaos out there, but some good drama to watch. We all want to win something again. Um, I was so proud and so happy that so many other lads got to experience what we did back in 2012. For me, that was my favourite moment ever in a, in a rugby shirt. But it got eclipsed last year when we lifted that trophy again. And to see the, the smiles on the faces of you know, Marcus and Domers and Steph, um, Louis Liner, Caden, Tyrone, these boys getting to, to lift a trophy and, and feel how that feels. I always felt like a proud dad. I'm, not, I'm old enough to be a, a, proud, a proud dad to most of them, but I felt really proud and happy that they get to experience that. And I'd love to have that feeling again. If anyone can bottle that three-day feeling that we had, was, uh, it was pretty special. The reason I picked up a ball when I was four or five was to score tries. Uh, I still love that feeling. I quite like assisting them as well, but there's no better feeling than, than scoring a try and dotting it down. Um, yeah, delighted to have got, I think I'm on 98 for the club at the minute. I'd love to get 100. I think Brownie's 99, so it'd be nice to, nice to get past him. Um, and yeah, to be, the, to be a, the sort of record holder for this unbelievable club would be, would be amazing. Um, but it's the hard work that the, that the boys do. I'm normally just running on the end of a good thing that that Marcus or Tyrone or Domers has done, to be honest. But um, yeah, I love that feeling. I'd love to score as many tries as I could. Uh, I remember Chris Ashton always, he still wants to get that record. And I tell you, I'm not too far behind him. So I'd love to, I'd love to beat him. We've not been in a good position in Europe for, for years, though to be in the last 16 now, um, to have an opportunity to get to a quarter-final of the biggest tournament in, in European rugby is, is where this club should be. Uh, so we're back to that. but. We know how tough that challenge is going to be. We know we're going to have to play incredibly well to beat some very, very good teams in Europe who operate on a different level, a different wage cap and all that sort of stuff. But as Quinns, we'll, what we'll do is we'll, we'll give it a good crack. We'll have a smile on our face when we do it and we'll, and we'll try and give it a go. Uh, and to get into the knockout stages is brilliant, but we want to we keep progressing.